10 states have been selected to kickstart the first phase of implementation of the partnership for expanded water supply, sanitation and hygiene, PWASH. A component of the National Action Plan to turn around the water sanitation and hygiene subsector. In case your state is not among the 10, in this report it means the state government has to do more to meet the criteria for selection as the federal government in incentivize the sub-national governments towards attainment of the sustainable development agenda. And Muswaud and Wahab tells us about PWASH and its targets. The yearning increases, so too is the deficit of access to safe water and improved sanitation. Facilities are breaking down with no adequate replacements. A lot of places where you see abandoned boreholes, they must have been built by the federal government. And some states have actually abdicated the, the entire responsibility of providing, especially rural water supply, to, to the federal government. One of the mechanisms for that change is the Partnership for Expanded Water Supply, Sanitation and Hygiene, PWASH, launched in 2016 by Vice President Yemi Oshinbaju to address water and sanitation challenges at the grassroots. Three years on, the pilot project has been completed with more than 700 water supply schemes carried out in Kano and Ogun states between 2018 and 2019. Any local government will take, we want to be sure that they don't lack access to water. So those four local government we covered in Ogun state, and as well as the four we covered in uh, Kano states, now I join the uh, portable water supply. With the exception of Adamawa, Borono, Rivers, and the FCT, all other states of the Federation have signed up to the PWASH protocol, while 10 states that have met the criteria have been selected for the first phase of the program. The uh, pilot phase, there was not a uh, sanitation component, but in this first phase now, it's going to go pari passu. That means as we are providing access to water supply, we are also increasing access to our sanitation facilities, especially in the public areas. So PWASH is meant to incentivize the states Number one, for them to prioritize water and sanitation, to take it as top priority. And when they take it as top priority, it means they will invest more money they will, so, they, so that they plan adequately for the people and uh, work towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals target. We have that very high level political commitment and willingness at the national level. However, do we have a commensurate level of political will? at the state level. This is where we have the challenge. Several national and international targets on water and sanitation are fast approaching. And Nigeria's government says it is throwing everything at it to meet the targets and ultimately the yearnings of a citizenry. In Abuja, Muspal, then we have NC News.